Bido Malibe is due to give birth in just a few weeks' time. But every day, she still walks up to 10 kilometers in seating temperatures to search for water. The water problem here is really affecting everything. We spend all our days looking for water. One can't do any business to earn any income. Finding water in this part of Ghana has always been difficult. People rely on rivers and lakes or boreholes. But with little rain now for months, it's even more of a challenge. The farther you go, the more desperate the situation. These people have been digging for hours in the dry riverbed just to find enough water to fill a bucket to take home. In the midday sun, temperatures are around 40 degrees Celsius. The government began building small dams across the north of Ghana in 2017 when Nanado became president. The project was called One Village, One Dam, with the aim of storing water for the dry season. More than 500 dams have been built, but few contain any water. When the rains start pouring here, they pour, it pours. And some of them would just give way because the banks were not either one properly constructed or two. The intensity of the flow of water into those dams becomes too much for it and it gives way. It's not just families feeling the effect. For farmers like Al Hassan Fuseni, it's a catastrophe. Eleven out of his cows have died from thirst in recent weeks. No grass, no water, and they're dying. One is lucky to make a few dollars if a cow is about to die, and a butcher is close by to slaughter it instantly. If the rains delay further, it will be a disaster. The president's planning more dams, bigger ones this time, and town water systems. The infrastructure is supposed to be completed by 2023. But Bido Malibe isn't holding out much hope. She is preparing for another long hot walk to search for water in the morning. Eva Atiboka, Nanumba North, Ghana.